Streamers, are you like me where you have multiple audio devices like headphones, speakers, you have a mic for your streaming, you have a mic for your gaming, and it's really difficult to switch between all of them? Well, I have a quick solution for you and you can do it with Touch Portal. Let me show you. First, you're gonna to wanna to go to the Touch Portal website and download this plugin, Windows Media Mixer. Then once you have it downloaded, open up Touch Portal, click on the gear icon, click on import plugin and open the new plugin. Now, once we have that plugin installed, all we have to do is create some buttons that switch our default input and output to the devices we want. So I'm gonna create two buttons that change my default output in Windows. Let's click on an open square. With the on press tab selected, scroll all the way down until you see media mixer. Select change default. We're gonna set our output. Then we're gonna select the device that we wanna set it to. I'm gonna use my headphones, Arctis 7 game. Let's give it a name and click save. Now we want to create a second button that switches back to our other device that we may want to have default from time to time. So let's click on the square right next to it. Again, we're going to go over to Media Mixer and select Volume Mixer Change Default. Again, we're going to change our output. This time I'm going to select my Wavelength System, give it a name, and click Save. Now when we press those two buttons on our touch portal, you should be able to see your output change. Let's find out. Here we are in the Windows Mixer. I'm going to click the Arc to 7 button we created. There's our headphones. I'm going to click back on the Wavelength button we created. And there we go. Super simple to switch back and forth between default audio devices now. If you want more Touch Portal tutorials or other streaming automation tutorials, don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, keep calm and game on.